obviously a, a different looking lineup for us tonight. Um, but guys up and down the order just stepped it up. DJ set the tone with a double out of the gate. Luke had a great night. Glaber, Urshela, Mabin, all, you know, Tyro, while he was in there, Rowe, everyone, everyone chipped in. And that's that's what how it's had to be lately. Um, and just just proud of the guys for for having a role in helping us win ball games. You mentioned LeMahieu. He went through a little stretch where he was struggling a little bit, but he seems like he's back to his old self. What type of an asset is he at the type, top of the lineup, the way he's able to get on base? Again, wherever he hits. Um, you, you just like him up there in, in any situation, um, you know, whether it's setting the table, whether it's runners out there and a tough pitcher on the mound making pitches, he's a guy that um, just because he uses the entire field and the ability to to control the zone and make contact, he's just he's just a really tough out as we've all seen. Paxton struggled a little in the first and then seemed to settle in as time went on. What was different about his stuff? Uh, I thought he had pretty good stuff actually from the get-go, but just that pitch count probably cost in that first inning uh, probably got him to get tired a little bit in that sixth inning, um, but I thought he held his stuff pretty good. I, th it, I thought it looked uh, strong overall. The velocity was up from from last time. Not that that's everything, but I thought uh, I thought there were stretches where he was really dominant. Why do you think Britain lost the zone in the seventh? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, you know, he gets gets two quick outs there, and he's 0 and two, and then just uh, you know just just lost it a little bit there and. Um, you know, just one of those nights for him. But again, we were able to pick him up. Uh, Otto comes in and gets a huge out, obviously, of Posey then in that inning and then has a clean eighth. Uh, so, you know, that's what this team's been about right now. You know, a lot of guys contributing, um, a lot of guys picking each other up when, when somebody else doesn't get it done. So, because uh, we know Britt's going to pick us up a lot. That home run by Boyd. I mean, he's had some good hits for you guys, but for him to hit a ball there is not easy here. Yeah, we, we talked about it on the bench. I said, you hit a line drive as a right handed hitter, you hit a line drive at night here where he hit that ball. Uh, you got to sting it pretty good. And, you know, not surprising. I mean, we know what kind of hitter Luke is. We know what kind of power he has in the middle of the field and the other way. So uh, he's one of those guys that it doesn't surprise you when it goes out. But having played here a lot and been here a lot, you understand what a poke that is. You lost so many power bats in that lineup. What type of stabilizing force has Voight been for you guys? It's been great, you know. Um, Again, just getting on base, controlling the strike zone, now popping some balls. You know, he had a little stretch there for a week where he wasn't completely locked in, but but overall, it's it's been really strong. I think OPS up over 900 now. He's just been, you know, picked up where he left off last year, control the strike zone and, and you know, hit the ball to all fields with authority. He's been great. Does Luke's contribution meant to this run that you guys are on? How much what? Does his contribution, Luke's Luke? contribution meant to this run that you guys are on? Look, he's he's such an important player for us. Um, you know, he, he's he's become a premium hitter. Um, you know, I, I don't think any of us are surprised. I think a lot of people were wondering after last year, you know, could he come in and do this? But this is the kind of hitter we see him as, as a guy that has the ability to get on base and and hit the ball out of the ballpark and you know he's been doing that since he got to us Aaron you've been an outfield tonight where Mike Talkman had the most games as a Yankee in a Yankee uniform out there is there is there any part of you that is there any what is there any part of you that that is a little bit surprised at how sustainable this this has been with all these guys <clears throat> you know what we've we've just kind of and, and credit goes all to those guys. They've just kind of embraced this next man up thing. They've just kind of rallied around the adversity and just, you know, really locked in on go do your job. And so many guys have come up or come into the organization and contributed. And it's not about anyone doing more than they're capable of, but the guys have really bought in to that. And, and they come with that mindset that we're going to go win a ball game and however we need to do it. You guys get a kick out of seeing Estrada catch the fly ball out there? Yeah, I was I was glad it was a completed pass. <laughs> um, even though even though we have a lot of confidence in him and his athleticism, still first time out there and obviously not an easy place. Handled it, came up with a big hit. Um, 
So it was good to see Tyro have another hand in a victory.